guys. Um, I am joining you again for <laughs> basically what I think I would call the good, the bad, and the ugly part two. <laughs> um, so as you know, I had a one-on-one -on -one with a, a group and a new coach that I haven't worked with as far as a supervisor. And um, I was very nervous. I was going to go into this being super vulnerable and I knew I was and I was not comfortable with it. It was very um, difficult to push myself to, and this is a good push. So as you know, push is one of my um, swear words that clues me into <laughs> am I trying to force my way and um, that sort of thing. So in this case, this was a good push. This was trying to help me to get outside of a comfort zone, to really, I know that there's learning and there's some wonderful, wonderful things that I can clue into when I am in that space. So I went to this session and I put it all on the line. I just, um, I, I knew that in order to get the answer I was looking for, I needed to be very open, very vulnerable, very um, just clear about what was going on. And um, this, this session was absolutely amazing. And one of the things that I went into the session with was, you know, not only am I robbing myself from the answers and the feedback I could receive if I'm not open, if I'm not vulnerable, but I could have an impact on someone else in the room. And if I withhold that, then, you know, I'm not serving and I'm definitely robbing that other person of what they could get. So, uh, yes, it was a bit difficult for me. It was a very vulnerable place for me to be because I knew that I would have an emotional response because it was so deep for me. Um, and I went into the session, got all the answers I could possibly hoped for. Um, this other supervisor was absolutely in tune in intuition wise and knew what I was trying to get to without me having to explain it all necessarily. and helped me toward a lot of realizations about being an empath and the energy transfers that go on and even helped me to kind of go that layer deeper with uh, my difficulty in accepting compliments. So I want to get on and just kind of share from the heart. Um, I've had <laughs> the realizations from that session yesterday with this group and then I took what I've learned in the last two days into a coaching session today where I was the client and mind blown, right? Um, that, that seems to be the theme for me. Anytime I have a really big aha moment, it's followed up by lots of others, right? <laughs> so um, I don't have anything written down. I don't have anything that is, um, planned out per se, it, it really is just going to be what's sitting on my heart right now that I feel like I want to be sharing. So I hope something resonates with you guys and you enjoy the video. Um, so the first thing that I think I want to talk with you guys about is um, that inability for me to accept compliments and the fact that that really, for me, is the ultimate vulnerability because I am opening up my, my inner space to someone and I am allowing in the moment, in the raw, you know, um, taking in that compliment and genuinely feeling it. And for me, over countless years, I have always tried to block that point and you know, I have a guard um, at that door. I do not open up very easily. 
to something that is going to cause an emotional response in me. And if, if it matters to me on a deep level, I don't let it in. There, there's a resistance there. And um, over the, all of this, um, I have realized that um, A, when I do that, I am stopping the flow of energy from myself to someone. But what I didn't realize is I was stopping the flow of energy from the other person to me. Um, if I don't accept their compliment and I don't um, genuinely value what they've given me because that's what it is, valuing, um, I am <laughs> ignoring the gift they're trying to give me. I am really doing a disservice to not only myself but to them. So it's you know, I am bouncing that energy back to them and saying, no, thank you. And um, <laughs> that hit me really hard because um, I would never do that with any other situation. So the fact that I'm doing it on an energetic and emotional, spiritual level that um, should, should is my wheelhouse. It's, it's where I live. Um, the fact that I'm doing that there was <laughs> pretty highly upsetting for me because I I want to share those things with people. I want to um, have that free flow of energy. And realizing this, I'm <laughs> okay, this is not going to go forward. And um, it, it's an incredible realization to get to. But in the moment... I was very emotional. I was very, um, I don't know if disappointed is the right word, but um, I, I was not very happy with myself in that moment because I see everything that I've missed out on. The things that I am not allowing to get through that, that guard at the door. Um, so, yes, I'll continue on. Uh, my next, Thing that I discovered today in my session where I went deep into what I learned yesterday um, is a bit more of an emotional vulnerability for me because what I realized was <laughs> very upsetting. <laughs> um, I am, as you know, a coach who is helping people to get to self-acceptance. And I've done a lot of work in that category. And I have <laughs> really um, put myself into this space. And in the last few weeks, as you know, I've built up my validation wall. I have moved into that space of self-belief. I have done, so I, I'm making a lot of progress in this self category. Um, and the realization that I made today, thankfully, from this fantastic coach, uh, uh, every time I meet with her, something amazing comes out of it. Um, what I realized today was that I... <laughs> uh, vulnerability is a two-way street. So she asked me if there was a specific place or thing that was... Um, that where that resistance level was for me as far as being vulnerable. And I realized through lots and lots of dancing around it, and uh, thankfully she had the patience to dance in the moment with me and find it. Um, anything that is, to me, in service of someone else. So in my previous video, I described it as something that's, heavy on my heart. It's the energy that I know that I want to share with someone and that, you know, it's a service. Something will help somebody. I know it. I feel it. There's an energetic, it needs to go to people. So there, I'm doing really well being vulnerable or <laughs> I don't know really well, but, um, I'm getting there. Uh, 
it still comes up for me where I feel the resistance, but I'm aware in that moment, and I'm usually, usually, able to allow myself to open that door. Um, the two-way street. The thing that I realized is anything that is um, <laughs> that compliment that comes back to me, that is for me, um, I'm not letting that in. And that is cutting off an energy flow. Um, and when I started digging deeper and trying to figure out um, what that really means to me when I allow something in and I accept it at a heart and soul level and that, that soul connection, I realized that that is the essence of self-worth. And as you can see, this is very vulnerable for me. Um, realizing that this, this self-journey that I have been on for so long, um, I'm missing a core piece and a very important piece. Um, and in order to fully, fully move into self-acceptance and to have the, the concrete foundation, this strong foundation that I'm looking for, I have to learn to open both of those doors. I need to take in that validation. I need to allow myself the gift of accepting those things. I need to be okay with that exchange of energy that comes inward to me. And it is absolutely incredible to realize this because I had a glimpse of the, the vision of where I could be going, um, where this could take me. Um, <laughs> and that was an incredible moment because I acknowledged where I'm at, the, the path that I've taken, the progress that I've made on this path. And knowing that I have made it this far can you even imagine what it would feel like? What, what it would be to have that fully open, uh, to be vulnerable, not only to serve other people, but to serve myself. And um, I just, I want to thank everybody who <laughs> stayed to the end of this video, who um, has been a part of my journey that has helped me to, have these realizations and to move forward with it. So my promise to myself is that I am going to actively be aware and focused on having that door as wide open as I can handle it in the moment and to not judge myself if it only can be a crack for a little while and then I move to where I can open it all the way. Um, but to really actively try to make some progress in this area for myself. This, this is a gift and a service that I can give to myself that is only going to improve my world, my life, my happiness, fulfillment, and ultimately, I can use the energy and the things that I'm gaining from doing it to serve other people. So this gives me a larger capacity to love and to serve and to really help the people that I've chosen to try to help and serve in my life. And um, it is absolutely incredible to have that, albeit small glimpse of where I could be going 
and um, really <laughs> to give myself permission to take this step, this step for me that will bring such amazing results. So um, I know this video was a little bit longer, but again, it was heavy on my heart. I wanted to share and I, I absolutely invite you to take that step as well. Um, which area of the self journey um, is going to be the big service for you in your moment right now? Uh, comment below if um, your area is different from mine, be it self-confidence, self-worth, self-esteem, self, um, I mean, there are so many, right? Um, so thank you everybody. I love you guys. Um, I am okay. <laughs> um, I know I get this question all the time when I get emotional. Um, I am a highly sensitive person. I am an empath. I live in my emotions and I have quit trying to block um, when it comes up for me because if it's coming up then I know that something matters to me on a deep level and that that truly is a, a gift for me to see into you know that soul connection where I know that something matters so um, don't worry about me I'm good I'm loving the journey um, I love the realizations that I've had and actually I am so excited to step into this area and really make this change so um, thank you everybody I will see you guys in my next video bye